everyone, welcome to my channel, The Mental Traveler. I'm Caro Herrera and today I'm going to be talking about Indecent Proposal, both the book and its movie adaptation. The novel came out in 1988 and it was written by Jack Englehart and the film was released in 1993 and it starts the handsome Robert Redford, the beautiful Demi Moore and the charming Woody Harrelson. This will be a review without spoilers, so enjoy! I was first introduced to the story through the film. I watched the movie when I was quite young, actually. Too young to understand what was really going on. I saw it in secret, so I guess I must have been 11 or something. But something about it fascinated me, and through the years I've rewatched it dozens of times. It has become one of my favorite Robert Redford films, because I love him. And I guess this could even be the movie that made me fall in love with him. And it's even funny to remember that for years I had this silly grudge against Woody Harrelson because of the role he has to play in the film. But anyways, the older I got, the more I found to love about this story and when I discovered that the novel it was based on was quite different I still wanted to read it because the general plotline was still there How far would you go for a million dollars? So I got the novel for last Christmas and now I've read it In the movie there's this couple called David and Diane They were high school sweethearts, got married very young and are still very much in love but financial difficulties lead them to go to Las Vegas to try their luck They're this handsome, charming millionaire called John Gates sees Diane and decides he wants her, so he befriends the couple and pretty soon he offers them one million dollars to spend one night with Diane. So the story here addresses issues such as if they agree, what will this mean for David and Diane's marriage? Affect How will it end up affecting them? Or will the night come and go and since the money will last them a lifetime and solve all their problems, will it really have a big impact in their relationship? It explores in a powerful way the complexities of marriage. But as I said, the novel is quite different. For example, here the married couple are called Joshua and John and they were not high school sweethearts. In fact, when they met she was married to another man and he was married to another woman and they had children together. And John comes from a rich background and Joshua is a survivor from World War II because he is Jewish and he escaped Europe in secret when he was a child. But anyways, during a vacation in Atlantic City, a billionaire comes into their life who also desires John and offers them one million dollars to spend one night with her. But here the seducer is an Arab sultan. So here the book explores themes such as the whole Jewish people rivalry with the Arabs, for example. I give the book a 4.5 out of 5 stars review and the film I rate with a 5 out of 5 stars review because while the novel is really well done and touches into the way the human heart works with vivid detail describing why is it that people do what they do sometimes and how the choices one makes or do not make end up affecting their future in the end I prefer the characters that the movie presents even if it's a Hollywood idolized version or something I do prefer the husband in the novel because it's told from his point of view and so there's some subjectivity here that makes me feel partial towards this character Character. But in the movie, I will always prefer the millionaire because he has a heart here. I didn't like him one bit in the book, but he's really romantic and vulnerable in the movie. And for example, John Gates, as he's called in the film, it reminds me of an older version of Jay Gatsby. Maybe because Robert Redford also played Gatsby when he was young, and because they have the same initials, John Gates, Jay Gatsby, but also they sort of fit this doom, tragic, charming, good man figure, something like that. And as to the wife, I prefer her in the movie as well, because I can really feel her sorrow in Demi Moore's performance regarding how guilt can eat you and also there is this air of innocence portrayed in the film that's not there in the novel the book was just too real for me at times so in the end I guess I prefer the Hollywood version to the more realistic one anyways I recommend you to both read the book and watch the film I will always fall over and over in love again with Robert Redford's character in the film so that's why I prefer the film maybe but the novel gave me a lot of food for thought about the inner workings of a person's mind heart, soul, and nature. This is all I have to say about Indecent Proposal at the moment. Please let me know if you enjoyed the video or if you didn't, if you agree with or disagree with anything I said. What's your own experiences with Indecent Proposal? In the description box below you can find the link to the Goodreads page for the book as well as the link to the movie's IMDb page. Thank you very much for watching this review. I'm Carrera, the mental traveler, and I wish you a great day. Goodbye!